and it was a little tight but uh, I'll probably change it out this week Oof. talk about dust Let me get the hey Nick yeah daddy made a dusty mess in here yes he did why I'm getting all the dust um, there's no catch underneath so I have a couple of these black they're uh, they're not really trash cans they're cans that went on to the back of a lawnmower they're the leaf bags or whatever it is you're cutting and uh, I've got a couple of them that I use for trash cans, so I'll keep a trash bag in it and I'll slide it underneath so that it'll go in there instead of slamming against the floor and get all over everything. Do that's what it's doing. This is going to be part of that. I gotta see if that even works. And if it does, I mean, I really don't need it, so I'll probably just give it to Chris. Still got to figure out what I want to do with that thing. It does work, just that one side of the screen is a little screwy. My list, my light that works. Some holster stuff. I want to make another holster. Okay, I got to find a home for this. I'm not going to just put it someplace for now. Because if I do that, it's going to end up staying wherever I put it for now. And I don't want to do that. So. This has to go into the van. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to hook up uh, a VHF, UHF radio in the wife's van. Because uh, I've got two 25 waters. Or actually, it might be 51. I don't remember. And uh, if I put one in her van, I have a radio in my van that will program the same. It's not the same radio, but it will program the same. So I can use it. This here way, if she happens to be in the van, we can almost use a mic CB. But they're not. They're more of a FM, uh, UHF, VHF stuff. Uh, oh, there's a boost. Where, where, where? 
Yeah. Now, legally, you're not supposed to. You Would you go to the backyard and went shopping? No. <laughs> you want white rice or would you like a plate? Well, you know, it's, did you use it? Yeah. Well, I can't take it back. Well, I, I know that. You know, but I took your word for it here, you know. No, no, we don't have, we can't sell them here in the United States. Well, why is it in the catalog? Oh, that and all the, the, the company messed up on putting it in the catalog. The company, no, it's the company, not them, the, the manufacturer. Uh, uh, they screwed up on it, you know, but uh, no, they can't be sold here. Only uh, England, Germany, uh, Ireland, you know, stuff like that. I go, do they exist? They go, oh, yeah, yeah, but we just can't sell them here. You know, we can't get them, can't sell them. Nah. Well, that's why you wanted me to buy it ahead of time, because you knew that that wasn't coming in. And you were afraid if I didn't, and they didn't come in, I wasn't going to buy it, which I wouldn't have bought it, because it's useless to me. You know what I use it for? A small drill press. All right. Uh, so at that point, they're, they're just liars, you know? They're greedy liars. So... If you're going to buy something from them, if it isn't in stock, don't buy it. Because you never know if it's going to come in, if you never know if it's going to be sold there. And that machine, in my opinion, is worthless without it. My opinion, now. So, but that's so much for Proxon. Now, I'm not saying that they don't make good stuff. I like the chop saw. I like the table saw. You got to take your time with them, you know, they're not like one of the big ones, you know, you got to know the limits. Um, and I like some of their small power tools, you know, like their Dremels and things like that. But even some of those you have to watch out for because you buy it, it may not work until you buy their power supply to work it with. You follow me? So they're kind of like, you know, you see the price for something, $89.00. But you're not seeing the hidden price on this piece that you need to run that. You know, that's going to cost you another $149. You know what I mean? And this, I feel, is them. Not so much the manufacturer, which they, you know, that's, that's kind of sneaky and shady on their end. Uh, but, you know, uh, they should uh, market it a little differently on their website. That's what I, yeah, that's what they should do. They should be more honest. So, but what are you gonna do? Will I buy any trucks on again? Certain things, yeah. I'm looking at a couple of these little pieces. Will I ever buy from them? No. If I have to buy from them, I won't buy it. saddle soap, uh, mink oil, and then black shoe polish. So, but I need that for that over there. So, all right, let me unplug you here. Let me uh, take the card out of this. Pull the battery out of it a little bit. There we go. Uh, do I have my phone? I do. Let's put this back. Everything is off. Everything is off. Okay. 
solder irons are off. Yes. So and you gotta remember what some of the stuff like that. You gotta make sure you turn it off. You don't end up starting a fire. Uh okay. So I did the light. Tomorrow I'll install it. So the light's fixed there. That's fixed. Oh, the glasses. The glasses are done. Okay. They're out in the uh, sink outside, out back, um, soaking so that uh, I can wipe them, clean them off. I was going to put them in a, um, what you call it, but I, um, I got a um, vibrator sonic cleaner, but it's one that I made, but I have a bunch of crap in it. So, all right. What the hell is that? Dust? What's dust doing in my shop? <laughs> All right.